Hey guys, it's Emily from Red Hound Reiki again. I am back in town from, um, I was almost a week in LA for an animal welfare conference. So I'm back and we're going to be doing your um, love and romance reading for the week starting 722, which was yesterday. So I'm a little late, sorry. Um, using a new tarot that I just recently got um, called the Lover's Tarot, I think. But really, I just got it because I thought it, I like how it looks. We're going to use it anyway. Um, we also have a huge eclipse coming up this week, so a lot of stuff could be coming down. As far as relationships are concerned, um, a major theme has been for a long time um, either raising the vibration of everyone around you, which is good, or the other thing that is happening is um, we are shedding the relationships that no longer serve us or no longer are in, life, in alignment with our own purpose or our own mission or our own vibration. So it kind of could go one way or the other. Either you're going to bring up everyone around you or um, some of those things may fall away. And as much as that seems like a negative thing, it's actually good for your personal growth. So we're going to see what that is going to be like this week. All right. Oh my gosh. One more. And then cutting up. Okay, so what we have for the overall energy is I think as far as love and relationships are concerned, a lot of people are going through a ton of, let's just say, oh, this says obsession, um, and it is kind of an obsession. It's like uh, in the traditional tarot, it's like the sleepless nights, the um, obsessive thinking, and a lot of people are going through that, um, mostly because um, in a lot of cases... It's like you know something has to change and you're not really sure how to go about it. And so instead of following our hearts, what we're doing is we're getting stuck in our head and it's keeping us up at night. And it's really not getting us anywhere. It's getting us like this circular thinking going on. Um, this makes it nice and cute because it's called the Nine of Wings, not the Nine of Swords, but it's really the Nine of Swords. So this is some difficult energy that we're stuck in right now. Um... And we are indeed a little bit stuck. This is our energy, and this is the hanged man. So this is like a pause. Right now we're in a little bit of a pause right before um, some big stuff goes down, which is probably going to be with the, um, with the eclipse, and that's when this pause is kind of ended. Um, in a lot of cases, this is a time of reflection of... Um, gaining further insight from a different perspective. So we're really um, hopefully setting aside that like tendency to obsess and to really get in our heads and like spin and ruminate and look at it a little bit differently. Um, in the past, we've got the 10 of roses, which is stress. And that is like the Ten of Wands in the traditional tarot. And that is the end, the end of a cycle. So some cycle is, is ending here. And it's like you can hardly take on anymore. It's like you're at this breaking point. Literally, I'm hearing the, the straw that broke the camel's back. So you might um, have just, this is the actually the recent past, so you might have just gotten to that place where it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Like you cannot move forward in the same way anymore. So whatever that means for you, it might mean that a relationship changes, um, that you have to move, you know, make yourself move forward in a relationship or that you have to leave a relationship. It could be any of those things. This is obviously a general reading for a lot of different people. 
Um, but whatever that is, is causing a good amount of stress along with the anxiety created with the nine of wings. Um, you realize through this stress that some kind of communication has to happen. Um, this is the princess of shells. This is the romantic. It's like the page of cups in the traditional tarot. So um, <clears throat> whether this is about like some kind of intense intense energy having built up and you just like have to go communicate about it. You have to go make, um, sort of make your offer to someone or rather, whether this is, um, you kind of taking your toys and going home and starting over somewhere else, um, a new start somewhere else, because this was just too stressful. This was again, the straw that broke the camel's back. It could really go either way because, again, we're reading for a lot of people. I feel like for a lot of people, this is a new start. Sorry. Um, possibly with a water sign or you're the water sign. So that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, And I feel like <laughs> I feel like this is communication, which might not be super direct, um, but it needs to be more direct. It's like she's not like quite looking at the seahorse. She's kind of looking off like kind of flirty like, which is OK. Um, but it's almost like they need to be eye to eye. They need to look eye to eye and start start talking. Um, in order to move forward. And you do have actually in your future, and this is actually exactly the same card from a different deck, but the same card that was in this position in the general read, you have the King of Wings in the um, near future position. And this is direct communication. This is like, uh, this is like mastering and knowing your truth. So, it's as if um, you're going to need to bring this kind of and uh, this kind of um, wishy-washy sort of communication into the really direct realm of things to um, you're going to want to do that anyway so that you can be really clear in your truth because it's been very uncomfortable to remain here in the nine of wings in the obsession and anxiety or the ten of roses where you just like cannot handle it anymore whatever that may be whether it's a relationship that's not working or a relationship that you want to work wherever it is you really just cannot be in this place anymore um, and if you do actually bring in this, this really direct communication and you um, bring it in, in a, about in a, this is called the professional. So um, to me, that's like bringing in that communication in such a way that you're obviously in control of yourself and you're obviously um, know who you are, like you're standing in your own truth and um, you're carrying an air of self-respect. I think self-respect is what I'm looking for. You bring you bring in the self-respect and you bring in the communication that way. Um, and you separate your, so you separate yourself a little bit from your feelings in order to communicate this properly. That brings you the sun, which is, um, the quintessential card for happiness. This is called support. So it also, um, this kind of communication then will support the growth of a, of a relationship. You have this kind of, I don't know, tree growing up out of um, 
this Egyptian thing here down here. I don't know why I suddenly don't know what that is. Anyway, so this is happiness. So you're going to start, you're going to bring in this positive energy, this happiness, this new beginning. Um, if there's any card in the tarot that means yes, this is yes. So if you do this, the answer is yes. So what you really need to do, I think right now is um, to focus on figuring out if you don't already know, I think a lot of you know what your truth is, you know what it is, but you need to focus on um, figuring out what it is if you don't know, and then communicating that in a really um, diplomatic and um, not disconnected, but maybe slightly we're talking emotional stuff in a less emotional way, but we're talking about it in terms of truth and just like getting it out there because right now you're living like this and you're living like this and you're living like this. And that is literally no way to live when the answer is yes. Got it? Okay. Um, you know what? Let's do a couple Oracle cards just for the hell of it. Let's do one. I got this new deck. Shoot, I can't even remember what it's called, but we're going to use this new deck anyway. It's like magical. I don't know. I'll use it in another video and I'll say what it's called then. All right, so we want one card of advice. Okay, dreamscape, dream work, subconscious imagination. And there's the picture. And this is kind of the sun also, like it literally is the sun. So I kind of get like, this is like confirmation of yes. Also, I feel like um, you already know subconsciously what you want, what your truth is, what this truth is, and what your answer is. Um, you might have been dreaming about this. Here's your subconscious, your black cat, um, and your, your black bird. So you may have had dreams about this or something that has given you the guidance that you need and you already know um, what it is that you need to speak. So think back to those things um, subconsciously or maybe um, unconsciously while you're sleeping, you know. Uh, so trust that. Know that you're protected and um, you're getting divine guidance from your messengers. Where's the cat? There's the cat. And um, your answer is yes, whatever it is. Or it's bringing you to a place where your answer is yes. But either way, it's the right direction. Once you know your truth, and honestly, like, I'm not telling you something you don't know. If you're in your truth, you can't go wrong. You're going to get there. All right. Hope this helps. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, or comment. I would love to hear your comments. And you can um, schedule your own reading or a healing session at uh, redhoundreiki.com. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.